Today I'm going to show you how to load and operate your LX1200 luxury scenting system. The LX1200 is unique in the fact that it can hook up directly to your HVAC unit or it can be used as a freestanding unit which will cover up to 1200 square foot of space. If you're going to be using the LX1200 as a freestanding unit, you can place it in any room standing up or you can mount it to a wall using the included mounting hardware. Loading oil into an LX1200 system is very simple. Take the keys that are included in the box with the system and unlock the door on the side of the system. Once the door is unlocked, remove it. Take your 200 milliliter Brilliant Sense oil bottle and unscrew the top. And now connect it into the system. When connecting it into the system, make sure that the tube inside the system fits inside the oil bottle and now thread the oil bottle into the machine. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Once the bottle's connected, you're going to close the door and relock it. The oil is now loaded into your system and the system is now ready for scheduling. Now that we've powered on the unit, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the time and date are correct. You'll find the time in the center of the LCD screen, and you'll find the date as a flashing arrow at the top of the wheel. In this current situation, it's showing today is Thursday. If you need to change the time and the date, you'll hit the set button one time to change the hours. If you need to change the minutes, you'll hit the set button again. And if you want to change the day, you'll hit the set button a third time. You'll now see it's flashing. If you hit the up and down buttons, you can change between the days of the week. Once you have the day that you would like, go ahead and hit the set button again. Now it'll bring up the volume. This is asking how big is the bottle inside the unit. It's always a 200 milliliter bottle, so leave that at 200, hit the set button. Now it's asking the level of that bottle. If you have a full bottle in there, it should be at 200 as well. Hit the set button again. Now this is asking for the milliliters an hour. We recommend always leaving this at 10.0. Change this by holding the up button. And once you reach 10.0, hit set. Once you have the correct time and date set into the system, you're now ready to input your schedule. You can do this by hitting the mode button one time. This will bring up the very first part of your schedule called event on one. This is asking what time you want it to start at. Go ahead and hit the set button one time if you want to change the hours. Hit the set button a second time if you'd like to change the minutes. Hit the set button a third time to change what days it will operate under. Right now it's showing Monday is operating but Tuesday is not. Let's go ahead and hit the up button once to add Tuesday by hitting the center button to add the arrow. If I want to remove Tuesday, I would hit the center button again and the arrow would be removed. The only days it will operate under on, on event one will be the days that have arrows underneath them. Okay. So once you have the date that you want it to start and the time, go ahead and hit the mode button. And now it's gonna ask you when you want it to stop the first schedule. Let's go ahead and hit the set button to change the hours. Hit the set button again to change the minutes. And then once that's set and you have the correct time entered, just go ahead and hit the mode button and that will lock in your first schedule. Now what it's asking you is how long do you want the machine to operate for or dispense your scent? We always recommend starting the unit at about 30 seconds to start. You're gonna to wanna to hit the mode button again. Now it's asking you how long do you want it to pause for? We recommend leaving this at 160. Go ahead and hit the mode button again. And it'll ask you if you'd like to enter a second schedule. You have up to five schedules that you can enter into this unit. A lot of customers ask us, what is this flashing green light down at the bottom of the unit? What this light indicates is the oil level currently inside the container in your unit. If it's green, that's stating that you have a full bottle of oil in the unit currently. If it's blue, it means you have about a half a bottle in the unit currently. And if it's red, it means that it's empty or close to empty and it's time to put a new bottle into the unit. When you are, when you are putting a new bottle into the unit, you are gonna wanna go back and make sure that the settings are set for volume and level back to 200 like I had mentioned earlier in the video. 
You can do this by hitting the set button until you reach the biome screen, make sure that's set at 200, hit set again until you reach the level screen, make sure that's set at 200, then hit set two more times and you are finished. You'll want to do this every single time you load a new bottle into the unit. Make sure those are both set to 200 milliliters.